What up? Today is day six. I can't believe I can't even count them on one hand anymore. It's already six days. That's unbelievable. Time is like literally flying by. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, yeah, today we are in Akita. If you guys missed day five, check out day five. So this is Odigo 47 where I'm going to vlog every single day out that I am touring um, every single prefecture in Japan. So I will literally be uh, in every part of Japan for the next six to eight months and I'll be vlogging every day of it. So stay tuned and uh, you guys will come along with me. Um, I'll be with Rachel and June, Chris Broad from Abroad in Japan and Kim Dao. So a bunch of cool YouTubers that you guys probably know, so stay tuned for that. And today we are going to the Namahage Festival, which is up north of Akita. It's about an hour, uh, 50 minutes to an hour uh, car ride. Um, and that is at the Shinzan Shrine. It happens, I believe it happens every year on the second uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday uh, in February. And uh, I guess I will see you in the vlog. See you there, baby. What up? I got calorie right in my mouth. She it's has, she does have. <laughs> There's June. What's up? <clears throat> and uh, right now we are heading to Shinzan Shrine, where the Namahage uh, Festival is going to take place. Um, it's about an hour, what's it, hour 20, hour 30 minute drive? Hour 30. From our hotel uh, here near Akita Station. And um, yeah, the Namhage Festival looks really cool. Like they're gonna have a bunch of masks on their faces, and um, it should be lots of fun. So uh, we'll take you over there and show you what it looks like. I think we made it, Namhage Festival. It's like we're in the middle of nowhere. We are in the middle of nowhere. Oh look, here's parking. We're basically in, uh, we're in Oda City, it's where it takes place. Uh, Oga, Oga City. Chris likes to drink balls. <laughs> Why does everyone always have to say that? Look at that beautiful ball, oh my god. Everyone's going to the Namahage Khan. Let's go to the Namahage Khan. What's the Namahage Khan? So that's what we're gonna be looking at. Those dudes. So it looks like they use these type of tools. Wow, that looks awesome. Look at all those. What up? We're in the museum right now. What up, June? Yep. What's cracking? It's raining. It's not a nice day. No, it's not. Me versus him in a battle, who will win? Me versus him. That guy. That dude's definitely gonna win. I'm Goku. Chris. Chris is gonna lose. There's no one. Chris. She thinks I'm gonna lose. Like, what kind of support system is that? Come on now. So we are walking up these stairs and this is where the fun begins. Thank you. 
So, how do you like the festival so far? I like the festival. I love I'm not the a fan of the rain. I love the type of performance. That was really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was worth it. Yo, these guys are really scary. When they were coming around here, I was really, really scared. Did you see all the poor children? Yeah. They and like, making little kids cry. I felt so bad. And oh, everyone's laughing at them, too. I mean, I laughed, I laughed a little bit, too. <laughs> it was a little bit funny. But like, yo, that stuff is like really... Those guys look really legit. Yeah. They look like demons, don't they? If I was a kid, I would have been I'm scared and I'm an adult. <laughs> That's why crime lights in Yakita is really low. Yeah. Oh, really? You gotta be a good boy. Is that, is that, is that true? <laughs> yeah, Jester, <laughs> making up some stuff. I love you, bro. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just finished the Namahaga Festival. It was really interesting, um, a little bit scary, as you guys maybe saw, though those things scared the children like crazy. When it came up to me, yeah, when it came up to me, I was like freaking out. As you can see from my camera, I was like backing up, because like, dude, I was like, don't touch me, yo. Don't don't wiggle me like you wiggle the children. And um, I'm, they're like wiggling, like the pick up children, wiggling. Don't wiggle me. I'm, I'm wiggle free, right? <laughs> And basically, the Namahaga Festival actually is an old tradition um, that Rachel over here will help explain because she's a baller G. Rachel, please assist me in explaining why Namahage is uh, a tradition. I read a pamphlet in their museum. <laughs> That's all I know. It said that the Han Emperor brought five demonic ogres demons, the Namahage, with him to that city when he came and then the villagers couldn't get rid of him and they had to try to trick him to leave. So they said, if you can build a thousand step staircase up to our shrine in a single night, you can stay and if not, then you have to leave. And so they were like, okay, because apparently they make deals with people. And so they built the steps and they got up to step 999 and then the villagers were like, oh no! And so one guy made sounds like a crow and then he scared the Namahage away and then they never finished the staircase. So. That's it? <laughs> the villagers, yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> So now is what we think is that the way the tradition is now kind of explained or the reason the tradition exists is because they want children to be good boys and girls. So the Namahag, that's why a lot of parents, you saw a lot of children at this festival. A lot of families bring their children, like very small. And the, these, these um, those demons or ogres or whatever, they come to the children and pick them up and scare them. And all the kids are crying. And I think it's because they want them to be good children. I don't know how that works, like scaring the, the bejesus out of children makes them good boys and girls, I don't understand that, but that's kind of the reason. So, this was day six, I no longer can count on my fingers, and um, stay tuned for day seven. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, because this is a daily vlog, it takes a lot of work to upload them daily, and um, I guess I will see you tomorrow! So, um... I didn't have an umbrella, because I, I needed my two hands to, you know, take my videos, and um... Oh, my food came. Oh, hi. Hi. Yeah, look at that. Look at that right there. She got me a mini micro seto and a nabe. You had a whole bottle of shichi. And a nice little daiko oreshi. Yeah. Anyways, what I was saying was, my hair is like a water repellent. This is no towel, no blow dry. Look, it's already dry. It's only been like 20 minutes.